Che, 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 you already know, it's your boy Joe, back at it again, codingphase.com, your boy's back and out and did it again. So today we have something special for you guys, man, you got your boy Omar Soriel all the way from Cleveland, no, uh, Cincinnati, it? Cincinnati, Ohio, Damn. I keep Damn. messing it up, I keep <laughs> thinking Ohio's not a state, <laughs> but yeah, so it is what it is, man, we here, um, so what's good, how was your trip, man? It was it was alright. It was it was raining, so it made it a lot it made it a lot more it made it easier to drive the whole time. Yeah, um the fact that it was raining it makes it makes me stay focused, you know. And uh, and that made it so I don't just be driving for eleven hours and get tired, you know. When you're focused it's like you have to stay awake, so Okay. So yeah. let's get to it, right? So basically how long you been doing this? Well, professionally, like since I got my first job, I got my first job in June 2017. So it's a little over a year right now. Yeah. And then when I picked it up, it's, um, I used to do websites with Dreamweaver when I was like a sophomore in high school, but that was no development. I was writing no code. I could have, I might as well use Microsoft Word for what I was doing and export it, uh, export it as an HTML. Um, then after that, um, I picked it up again in 2015. I decided I was gonna learn how to code because I wanted to make apps and things like that. Then um, it was hard doing that at the same time that I was working and I was only kind of doing it on the weekends at that time. And by the time that I got back to it, I, I pretty much forgot everything that I learned the, the weekend before. So I felt like I was just learning the same thing over and over and not really making any progress. So came to a point in my life where I um, decided that I was gonna put all my eggs into that basket, yeah. and I I quit all my other jobs and just had a part-time job on the weekends, and so that way I could have Monday through Friday to work in development, just doing that, nothing else, just working on development, and and it was hard because the part-time job where I was working only on the weekends, it was paying me a hundred dollars a day. So, and it was two days on the weekends, so I was making $200 a week, and I didn't live with my family or anything, I just lived with a roommate, um, but you know, I wasn't living with like my parents or anything like that, so I have to pay for my own, I have to pay for rent, I have to pay for bills, water, electricity, everything, uh, phone bill, all that. So, when I was only making 200 bucks a week, but yeah, I was only making 200 bucks a week, so that means that everything I had was strictly to pay rent if I slip up and I went to McDonald's and instead of, instead of ordering off the dollar menu I order um, a Big Mac then I, w I wasn't gonna have enough money for rent so that stretch was was long and it was it was hard but yeah I just put all my my eggs into one basket and started working on um, at that time you were just for you you were just starting your channel yeah so I was watching your videos but at that time you didn't have coding face um, that come up and you mm -hmm. have your own content so at that time you were just recommending other people's courses yeah and pretty much I I did team treehouse kind of like you did too at the mm -hmm. beginning mm -hmm. and then after I um, I kind of grew out of team treehouse or at least learned enough and um, yeah the basics and once you start to go yeah things like react and exactly you know, things that you want to uh, specialize in then you jumped into Udemy I think yeah. a lot of people uh, they go in, they find a platform, and they start there, and then they say, you know what, I think I'm ready to go on my own and find the things that I want, the niches that I, I want to, you know, uh, develop more, you know, so, definitely, uh, that, that's cool, man. So, yeah. don't worry, I mean, look, when I, when I first came into this thing, like, I always tell people, I was not expecting to do any courses or do anything. It's very time consuming. I just wanted to help people out. So yeah. I shared the courses that I actually did myself. So yeah. you basically did the same things that yeah. I did. Yeah, and I pretty much took your advice because I remember like back then at the beginning, you used, to, you used to just tell people like, look, I don't know these people making these courses personally. Yeah. They're not giving me any money. Yeah. Like I'm not recommending these courses because I'm making any money by doing that. Mm -hmm. you, you were just telling us because you thought they were good courses. Yeah. And, and I did that and I took, um, for example, for React, I took the Stephen Greider course yeah. for um, the JavaScript. I um, I took the Tony Alisea, mm -hmm. and then I also took his Node.js course. Mm -hmm. That I actually um, and you know and the Tony Alisea ones, those are very good ones that I still go back to. Yeah. How long did it take you to find a job? 
Because I know you was going to so, meetups and things like that. So, yeah, so during that time that I said, like, I'm going to quit everything and, um, and, and, well, I'm going to quit my week job and only work on the weekends part time so I can focus on web development during the week. Um, where I was a little confused and actually in, in, in your in your um, your videos actually helped me clear this up a little bit too mm -hmm. is that um, for some reason like I, I I knew Photoshop at that time and I knew like Illustrator and things like that and I thought that I could just kind of like mix them both I, I thought like if like to be a web developer you kind of had to be a designer and things mm -hmm. like that and then I, I, I kind of took your advice when you were like dude like when people pay for developers, they're not paying for a designer. Yeah. Like, don't spend so much time trying to design things your own. Just pick up another template and things like that. Mm -hmm. So, at the, like, there was a time of that that I was like dedicating to getting better at graphic design. Is what I'm trying to mm -hmm. say. And then I eventually, like, I wasn't learning anything because I was only doing it on the weekends. Mm -hmm. I eventually quit. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that happens to a lot of people. Yeah, for the people watching this, when you do this thing as a part time, as a hobby, it's not gonna happen. I mean, it could happen, but it's gonna happen way later on. Yeah. Instead of like when you say, "I just want this," I'm gonna focus on this for the next six months, next three months, whatever it is. And you just put your mind into it, you get it done. But when you are able to just do one hour a day or two yeah. hours on a weekend, it like, just doesn't stick. It doesn't stick. It's not gonna be. Especially because you know, a lot of the things that 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 you do in development is like, let's say you you're learning um, from a book or from or for for. A, from a video tutorial or something mm -hmm. like that doesn't matter but whatever you learn it's like they they teach you that and, and you and you might be watching it like oh that makes sense that made perfect sense but that doesn't mean like you already like you got it like mm -hmm. like it makes sense while they're explaining it then what you need to do is that you need to to stop watching that or get to a to a stopping point and then mm -hmm. try to do those things that they show you on the video yeah. on your own and then it's going to take you so much longer because you're going to find that there's a lot of things that you thought that you got it just from listening to them mm -hmm. but at the same time um, when you actually try them you're like oh crap I forgot this thing so then you have to go and rewind the video mm -hmm. to see how we actually did it and sometimes like things don't work exactly the same as in the video in your actual code and then you you might have to Google and things Google, like that. Debug, yeah. You miss a semicolon. Yeah. You miss a, you know, a freaking quote somewhere. Yeah. And, or you forgot you put like a variable there, or you put it inside of quotes. So now it's not really a variable, it's a string. So yeah. it's like little things like that you, you're going to bump into. If you have an hour a week and you watch a video that's 45 minutes, and then you practice for 15, like that's, that's not going to get it done at least. Mm -hmm. Maybe if you're a super genius. Yeah. Maybe, but I, I think for I think for most people and for me, that just that just didn't cut it. Yeah, you you yeah, had to yeah. kind of like putting your hours into um, actually building things. I think there's no shortcut to that. Yeah, no, definitely. Okay, so then you got hired, and then you was working at this company for how long? Yeah, so I got hired because. I used to go to, to things like the ones that you want to have here in this space. Meetup groups, meetups. man. Meetup yeah, groups, like guys. meetup. Meetup.com again. They're not paying us any sponsorship yeah. or anything. Um, but it's one of those things that that was instrumental for me to get my, my first job. So I live in Dayton, Ohio at that time, um, where I was just like learning and um, and just barely surviving on my income. Mm -hmm. And I went to every single meetup that was in Dayton, but there wasn't that many in Dayton compared to like a bigger city like um, Columbus, Ohio, or that's the capital of Ohio, or Cincinnati, that's also, um, there's a, a big... Um, a tech hub over there, so. Yeah, a tech it's hub, another, yeah. another city, is like, you know, it's Albany and there's New York City, you know, so it's yeah. like that. Yeah, so, um, so what I did was, and I actually, um, this kind of, I remember like, kind of hurt me a lot financially at that point, even though it's, it's nothing um, to most people, but just because how, how little I was making. You know, I used to put into my budget, like, gas to go and drive an hour away, over an hour away to downtown Cincinnati from a different city, and I have to budget the gas, but even more expensive was just the parking while I was at these meetups. Because um, for you to park to go to one of these meetups, it was 10, 12 bucks, depending on what time it was and, and how expensive the rates were at that time. So every week I, I had to budget that in and, and, and find a way for it for that to work. But by going to these meetups and, and meeting different people, um, 
that's eventually how I how I got my first job. Um, I went to um, there was a company that's called Gaslight in, um, in there is a company called Gaslight in Cincinnati, mm -hmm. and they they have a space kind of like this, a little bit bigger because you know they're like a yeah, it's a big company. They're, they're a bigger company, um, and they always host meetups just like this, and just going there. I met the right people that that hooked me up with um with um with a big company that's um, that's Kroger. Um, it's the biggest um, grocery um, company in America. Um, you you might not know it depending on the area that you live because they have their supermarkets have different names in different areas of the country, but it's all under the same company. And um, I mean it's a huge corporation, and um, they need just like a lot of companies in. In America, they need a lot of developers because they want to build things and they want to stay relevant. And um, and the need for developers is so big that they're to the point that they're like, okay, we're willing to take people without a college degree um, as long as they're committed to it and they show that they can um, that that they actually want to want to become developers. And they, and if, and they hire people like that. And most of the time, what they do is they hire somebody. It doesn't work out. Um, they let them go, uh, but for the people that that follow through and and show that they are actually committed and actually make some progress, then they keep him. And um, so I got that I got that that offer, and I was super super happy, super excited. Um, after about like eight months or seven eight months, something like that, of like doing this every day, just hoping for that one day, um, and I would have to move to to Cincinnati mm -hmm. from Dayton. Um, and it, and, and it was scary. It was scary because um, at that point, only 50% of the people that did that program um, actually got a job. The other 50%, they they you know they were there, but then after a while, they just they just let them go or or didn't make an offer to actually um, give them the job. So you know, if if I didn't get the job, that was gonna be hard because I was not gonna. I'm, I was not gonna be like somebody that had like years of experience. It's gonna be like everybody's gonna want them. Um, but at the end, at the same time, I had to get an apartment and all that stuff. So if I lost my job, it's like I was gonna have all these responsibilities. I, I was not gonna have my, a roommate anymore. It was just gonna be me in my apartment. So then at that time, like if if, th if things were to fail, yeah, the fear of, of failure can be something. Yeah, it's like then you think like man. Now I'm stuck in the city where I don't have nobody, no family, yep. nobody that I know. What if, you know, hey, I get hired, but in three months they fire me, or yeah. they let me go, or they say, hey, you know, we no longer need your services. Now yeah. you're there by yourself in the air, and then what do you do? You just pick up another bullshit job, and, you yep. know? So that's what I can understand in the back of your mind. You're like, man, this shit gotta suck, man, if yeah. I'm taking a big risk, you know? Yep. But it paid off, for sure. Know? But yeah, so at that point, it, it was like, I'm gonna do it. If he fails, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and apply to to the pizza places because I, I delivered pizza before and, mm -hmm. and gonna try to make ends meet and and see what happens. And and I took the job and um, I remember I, I told my girlfriend about it and she was kind of upset that I was moving to a, to another city. But I'm like, like look, I'm not gonna stay here making yeah. 200 bucks a week. Like, like I'm sorry, like like. If anything, you should be glad that the job is in um, the job is in Cincinnati. That's only um, about an hour away from here, and it's not in Alaska or something. Because <laughs> if it, if it was in Alaska, I would I would take it too. Because yeah. I, I'm I'm just trying to get in the door and and, and, and start. So, um, well, yeah, but I did that, and and, um, and and it worked out. And I was there for um, for from June. I was there for for a, over a year total, like a, like a year and two months, I think, wow. something like that. And um, and like I was telling you yesterday, I kind of felt bad when I when I left that company because I mean they were they were super great with me. Like from the beginning, they were crystal clear. Like I was just telling you about like I don't have a job, I just have the opportunity to get a job. But at the same time, like they gave me a lot of support. There was a lot of great people that mentored me. Uh, like the teams that I worked with there, like everybody was amazing and everybody was like. You know, if I did something wrong, like they didn't make me feel like crap for it. Mm -hmm. Instead, they like try to encourage me and and and, and tell me like, man, everybody does it. Like you just started. Like there's people that like 
go to college for this stuff and they and they don't and they're not even at your level. Like they were very encouraging to yeah. me. They taught me a lot of, a lot of things. Um, so that's why when I switched, when I quit that job after only a year, I felt kind of bad because they made that investment in me when I basically didn't know enough to be productive. And I feel a little bit like when I finally got to be productive, then I left the company um, to go work for somebody else.